On some projects, you'll be working with existing drawing files that might be provided by a client, such as a building owner, architect, or contractor. While these files may not be object-based AutoCAD architecture files, they may still be needed to complete the construction document set. I've found that it's best to add these drawings as element files. The only way to make sure they are properly referenced is to create them as an element file, but there are several approaches to doing this, so let's look at how this might work. The first approach is to simply open the drawing file. This gives you the chance to clean it up, running the purge command, or the audit command, and to save it as a current release. This helps eliminate possible errors that may occur later when referencing the files. Once the file is opened and cleaned up, right-click on the Elements folder, and then choose Save Current Drawing as Element. This correctly joins the file to the project. If you receive an update later, you can simply overwrite this file as needed. Just don't forget to clean it up before overwriting the current file. Another approach is to create a new element. By default, the project specifies templates or DWT files that are used to create elements, constructs, and views. By creating a new file, and then using either the insert or copy and paste commands between the two drawings, you're helping the file start with a clean database. For the copy-paste method, which has the best results when it comes to creating a clean file, make sure you turn on or thaw any relevant layers, so you're not missing anything in the source file. You can also bind reference files, remove images, or edit anything else that might not be properly defined in the source file. Again, once the file has been edited as an element, you can still receive updates and overwrite the original DWG file. As long as the file name remains the same, you can update this file as needed and still maintain your project structure.